A Mason lawmaker questioned during a prostitution investigation. Councilman Richard Cox was not charged. Jackie Kajader joins us live where this all went down. She has much more on what police saw in Cox's explanation for why he was there. According to a Mason police report, Richard Cox was seen leaving this motel room here behind me, room 131 at the Super 8 off Kings Mills Road, while the room was under surveillance because police suspected prostitution activity. But Cox tells me he was here for a different reason and had no knowledge of anything illegal happening here. The manager at this Motel 8 tells us it all began when they called police because a woman checked in and paid with two counterfeit bills. The next day, that manager says detectives were here watching room 131, and this incident report spells out why. They found this escort ad listing a Kings Mills Road location. According to the report, within minutes of watching the room, police saw a man go in. They went up to the room to confront the man, and the report says 15 minutes later, Mason City Councilman Richard Cox came out of the room. According to the report, police told Cox they, quote, had complaints about prostitution from that room, and he denied that anything like this was happening, end quote. The report says police found a woman named Min Guo inside the room. They, quote, checked the trash can and found several condom wrappers, end quote. The report says they also found a ledger and a, quote, considerable amount of money in her jean pockets, end quote. But... Quote, the inability to communicate and effectively interview Min Guo was a detriment to developing any further leads into prostitution, end quote. Cox told me over the phone tonight he was at a nearby cell phone store that day and an elderly Asian man standing outside told him he was having car trouble. Cox says that man asked him to deliver a note to his daughter in room 131 and that he was not there for anything other than to drop off that note. Now, it's important, again, to point out that neither this woman nor Cox was charged, and Mason police say the case is now closed. Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. According to that police report, police returned the following day, and the woman had left 